The UK's Met Office specialises in predicting the future. Each decade, technology allows them to see another day further into what weather patterns will do. Now, a four-day forecast is more accurate than a one-day prediction in 1980. That foresight allowed the Met Office to see Cyclone Christian almost a week before it hit Europe, and their warning meant authorities were far better prepared. This coming storm is still thousands of miles away in that direction over the Atlantic. Yet forecasters can say with some confidence it's going to hit the UK around midnight on Sunday. The Met Office's oracle-like ability is driven by vast supercomputers here at their headquarters in Exeter. The Met Office is hugely dependent on supercomputing. We use it for every aspect of our climate prediction and our forecasting. But the Met Office is facing its own supercomputing storm. It now needs far more compute power at a much lower cost than the market currently offers. And this may be the solution. Isambard, a new kind of supercomputer based on 10,000 ARM cores. Isambard is actually the first system of its size, of its scope, and it's really, really promising. We're getting very good results from it. Ultimately, Isambard and other ARM-based supercomputers will give organisations such as the Met Office the ability to cost-effectively add much more compute power, including in future potentially running new advanced AI workloads. The project is the combined effort of research accelerators, UK universities, ARM and technology partners. A full-size Isambard machine able to produce a global weather survey would be 20 times as large as this version, and planning for Isambard 2 is already well advanced. The main system's already filling up, so we want to expand that, actually double the size of the current machine. But also there are some new exciting ARM technologies coming over the next year or two, and we'd like to be able to bring some of those and deploy those within Isambard for the future too. So we're already seeing a real benefit from the, the whole kind of ARM ecosystem coming into high performance computing. An ARM-based system could give us the opportunity to look at higher resolutions or it could allow us to run